Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about how to edit vanilla blocks. Now, normally uh, what you guys would probably be thinking, obviously I'm not in your heads, but what you're probably thinking is, oh, I can go into the... Um, I'm going to use Obsidian as an example because I want to make Obsidian be able to be blown up. I can go into the Obsidian class and edit this, or I can go into the block class and edit a ton of stuff down here in such a way that I change all the resistances. And No, you don't want to do that. Um, Basically, what happens is, let's say you have your mod that edits the block class and someone else's mod that edits the block class. Uh, whichever mod gets installed second is going to overwrite the first one, and you're going to potentially mess up your mod. Um, at the very least, your mod just won't work. Uh, at the very most, it may corrupt someone's save files, and that would be bad. Um, but no, there is a proper way to edit some of the basic properties of vanilla blocks. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. So, um, it's actually pretty simple, believe it or not. I'm just going to go down to the very bottom of our uh, load class inside our mod underscore tutorial dot java. And I'm going to say block dot obsidian dot and you'll see it gives us all of the um, things I can set. So I'm just going to say um, set resistance and we'll say um, 10.0f and we could say dot set hardness um, 1.0f and, hmm, that's an interesting noise. Um, my air conditioner in here just started buzzing. It does that from time to time. But anyway, uh, if we... Yay, time for a fun explosive demonstration. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to remove that code. Um, that, that'll that be a bit annoying at some point, I can imagine. But anyway, I'm just going to take some obsidian, TNT. Why is my game lagging so much? I'm probably using up a ton of RAM because I am currently um, processing the video I made about five minutes ago. Um, I'm just going to create a little... My computer does not usually lag this much. I don't know what's going on. Um, actually, I do. It's probably exactly what I said two seconds ago. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to create a little obsidian platform and light it up. Go away. And you can see we have completely destroyed the obsidian. Now, uh, let's say... I set, um, I get on dry land, um, and game mode zero. You'll see we can destroy the obsidian really easily. So, um, that's actually quite useful in some cases. For example, uh, my underground bunkers mod, I am basically nerfing obsidian and putting in my own blocks in its place. Um, so it can be very useful if you want to say make wood unburnable you could do that um, with this method. It's a very useful thing to know. Um, so not quite sure what I'll cover in my next uh, video but uh, that's that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.